All right, welcome back everybody to Month of FromSoft. Uh, this is your host Bella Wright for the Occult Gaming Channel, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and continue where we left off. I have no clue what episode this is, so uh, don't hold that against me. Uh, cause some of these I'm splitting in half. Um, so I think I'm somewhere probably close to the teens, if not way into the teens, maybe around 11 or 12, or I could even be as low as nine or eight or something like that. But anyway, we spent the um, end of the last episode like kind of getting our strategy together, um, like building a deck for this level. Most of our deck building uh, has been to basically build up cards uh, because we're, you know, we're getting to the point where we want to sell stuff and start the farm and things like that. And by farm, I mean like duplicating cards and transforming them and stuff like that. Uh, but as promised, what I would do to start this episode off is to go to the fairy house and uh, check in with Alexander. Uh, we have been collecting quite a few red fairies, so he should have some good cards for us. Probably a couple of them. All right, welcome back, Akosha. Do you have any fairies for me? Quite a few, Alex. Alexander. Let's talk to him first. All right, same thing you said before. All right, so we gave him five before, and now we brought him 14. Okay, since we brought him 10 or more than 10, he's going to give us a card. And how we're just one red fairy away from getting the next gift, so I probably should have waited. And we got that Banshee. We got the Banshee I wanted. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just put her in the deck. Whoops, I did want to talk to him, actually. I might go back. I might go back. Just to see if he says, like, one new thing or something. That is Gerd. Hello, Alexander. He does say something new. Ah. It's about those fairies you brought me last time. Your brought me last time. They've gotten a, they've gotten a little bit bigger. Just look at the one sitting on the vase. Yeah, that one's ridiculous. Seems that several fairies sometimes join together, becoming one large fairy. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, that's a bit disconcerting, isn't it, Alexander? Uh, I'll, I'll leave you to it then, dude. I wish the best for you. If you come back horribly disfigured with tiny bite marks all over you, I won't be surprised. Okay, so now we have a new card. I was going to roll with this deck, but I think I might change it. Uh, it's virtually the same as this one. It's a tad different. Mm, I'll keep rolling with the experiment. I'll just make a little addition slash subtraction I will take out the I kind of want to keep saying golem in there uh, why am I keeping saying golem in here I think he's done with his uh evolution right yeah uh, sorry saying five stars ain't bad I don't know uh, I'll just go ahead and put in banshee this banshee is really really good banshee is a little grass type a lot of damage two uses she's way better than cockatrice well cockatrice still has his uh, stone effect okay I'm feeling good about this let's go and we're going to shell passage the clear conditions are simply to reach the exit um, the elements we see are water, fire, and earth. So, uh, earth won't be good here. And I have, I took out the bulk of my earth cards, but I still have quite a few earth cards. Um, the cards that'll be good here are nature, water, and actually earth will be good here. Only one who, that wouldn't be good here is fire. Uh, this ancient sewer runs directly to the castle grail. It is the quickest path to the castle, but the shadows hide strange monsters. And I think for this one, I think we'll be we'll be at this level for a while. Because if I remember correctly, it's a huge level for one. For one. 
I think there's a lot of diverse uh, monsters here. Uh, let me check this stuff though first. See if there's anything to it. We do got stairs right behind us. I think that's going to be the exit. Yeah, it's going to be the exit. And you try to avoid green water in these games. Uh, Red Fairy. There are five uh, big water tanks down here. One broke and strange creatures came out of it. That's gross. I wonder what kind of creatures. And there's some, uh, some asshole monsters here too, if I remember correctly. Some really messed up stuff. It looks like you are going to be a hit. And you can't... Oh. If it looks like you're going to be hit uh, and you can't avoid it, try using a card. Enemies can't hurt you while you are activating a card. But it's only for that one moment. Another fairy did tell me that earlier. And that's some, actually some good advice. The water gates only stay open for a little while. If they close before you get through, you have to go back and hit the switch again. Gotcha. That's good advice too. Though I'm not ready to activate any sort of water switches, so just gonna be running a while around for a little bit. And it looks like I did activate something, which I probably shouldn't activate it. But you know what? I'm okay with that. This thing. Ah, these are the flare cards. Fire. Oh, what the hell is that? That must be the mind flare. Oh, that hurt. Sweet. Exactly what I need. I missed. Mm. Mm. Need you. And you are interesting, so I might. Sweet. It's perfect. Please. Top Goblin for this one. Sweet, we got two new cards. Alright, we have Dragonoid. Dragonoid is good if I remember correctly. Let's check him out. He's a weapon type, requires four stone to use, but has three uses. Uh, his whip of binding uh, has range of C and offense of 18. Uh, a weapon type creature that wields paralysis causing whip. Uh, the quick snap of the whip creates a shockwave that will damage monsters in its path. So, uh, This creature, this outcast creature, is the product of a dragon and a human. Ah, I thought he was more elephant, but that's probably because of the whip. Dragon and human, uh, it, it lives its life hiding in the sewers, hiding in sewers and underground waterways. The whip of the dragonoid, the whip of a dragonoid can cause paralysis. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Flare spawn, we've already read about these and they were really good. So we do want to use these eventually. All right, so we are actually, I'm not gonna catch you. We are actually doing quite well for ourselves. I do want to break these. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, we've caught one of these already. Hmm. I kind of want to break every single one of these. The back door into the castle is locked, you know. One of those strange monsters went off with the key, too. Thanks for the tips, fairies. So I 
I think I actually want to stay down there for a bit. Because the strange water take breaks open, monsters leap up. Alright, we got these two. I think we can line them up for one hit. Let me actually test out the Banshee. Oh, Banshee's really good. Banshees. Oh, uh, let me take a look at Banshee again. There you go. I knew she had an A in range, but Psychic Charge. Yeah, and it does a lot of damage. The HP drain will be returned to you as experience points. Can penetrate defenses. Effect. That's just overpowered. Jeez. Oh, we got crap. This probably won't hit anybody. Oh, that's a lot of damage, too. If you get all three hits. I got some good cards in this one. Figured out what all the good cards are. Got another skeleton. Sea Monk. Sea Monk's really good. Yeah, another skeleton. I do want to go back down here though for a little bit. The castle. Okay, so we want to go in here. This is where we want to go. Alright, so what's over here though? I do want to break this shit. Yeah, I want to break this shit, so I'm gonna see if we can get into a random battle. You probably can't even random battle down here now that I think about it. And I say that because of the uh, water physics. It would be a shitty place to... But then again... You do have these things. That's the only monster here. Actually, he's at a disadvantage. spend just maybe 30 seconds or maybe if I could catch this fairy uh, no no <laughs> never mind there's there's not gonna be any random battles unless we're up here Oh, I didn't quite read that. I think you guys could pause that to see what it says. So I don't want to start over. Damn, that range. 
damage is ridiculous. Dude. I, I didn't think I was going to hit that flare spawn at all. Somehow I never used Banshee in my last playthrough. Because I would remember if she was that good. Damn. Some work. I just need some gems back. Oh, you don't got enough range. Perfect. You done good. That one too. All right. He took out. Dang it. Just gotta kill it. The next battle, we can see, we, we got the setup for um, the Necromancer. Like Google is solid. So is Mummy. Hey fairy. I do want to break this stuff, so I'm gonna to try to get into a battle over here. Please, can I get the battle? Battle piece. Battle, battle, battle. It's like when you want a battle, you can never get one, but as, as if you guys can remember the desert episode, when you don't want a battle, you always get a battle. That's how it always works. Come on, give me one battle. I just want to see what these items are. Or if there are items in here. Really not a single battle? If I stepped over here. Not even a random... Betrayal by the fairy. Come on, guys, give me something. I really want to see what's in these barrels and containers. Barrels and crates. Can I get a betrayal or some cards? Yes, thank you. Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's try out the new stuff. Perfect. Watch as soon as I step down here. Random battle. Hmm. There is a fairy over here, I think. Where is it? At least a treasure chest. I think that's what the... Uh, the red on the map signifies. I guess I gotta maybe drain the water. Oh, I, I didn't read it again. Alright, whatever. Uh, where'd my Necromancer go? Oh, I got cars back, that's why. Oh, crap. There's a lot of you guys. Around these parts. Can I at least pick up the jewel? The stone? Out of here. That crap. Thank you. You too. Do I want to catch you? Um, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on, it's moving in slow motion. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. Is there something here too? Oh, 
Don't tell me there's something else here. Yeah, it's a fairy. You can throw a car uh, wherever you want. Oh, you can throw a car wherever you want it to come to life. Hold down the use button, then aim with the control stick. It will go where you aimed it. So they, they do repeat some of the same stuff, it seems like. Running bird. Running bird. I think we'll add him. Running bird. Sweet, Venus spider is really good. Skeleton's really good. And lizard man's really good. Well, <laughs> skeleton is not really good, but we're actually using them this time around. So, for our purposes, he is kind of good at least for a uh, necromancer. What is this? Some sort of fight? Oh, a big fight. What the hell is that? Must be a mind flare. I do want to capture that mind flare. We'll use running bird for the capture. Yeah, so we got a lot of skeletons. Uh, we'll use one skeleton at the very least. I'm going to have to get rid of running bird, unfortunately. Skeleton looks like it. Oh. Yeah, you gotta go, buddy. Okay, we almost got the Necromancer combo. Some gems, though. It's the only problem. We need gems. Don't get one attack. Yes. Yes. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. No, oh, skeleton. No. <laughs> I don't want you to kill him. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna um, capture. This guy. Hold on, that didn't work? Jeez. He's captured. Why is his attack still hitting me? Okay, we got the key. You have found the key to the access door. Alright, I'm gonna go get some healing. Cool. Uh, but you know what? I want to see if we can get into one more fight. Because I want to see the Necromancer skeleton combo. Necromancer, if I'm not mistaken, is a summon monster, right? Yeah, so as soon as he comes out, he's only going to do one attack. So spell casting, we know what that can do. Uh, we want to see the demonic skull thing. The skeleton is on the field. So we're going to summon... I think we got two skeletons. We're going to see if we can summon two skeletons and then the Necromancer. I wanted to do it in the last fight, but... Uh, the, uh, I wanted to capture the um, Mind Flayer. Man, 
man. It's like when you want random, you can never get random battles. Like when you really want them. It's really annoying. Where's the Necromancer? Oh, I have my cards restored again, that's why. I really didn't see what happened. I'm gonna have to watch that back. Jeez. Alright. I'll leave it up to you, Skellies. I should have captured, uh, what's his face? there's like some stuff I'm leaving here I don't think we're done yet hmm. where's this key even go to does it go it must go down here right I don't know Reverse the I think I want to reverse the gates. This doesn't look like anything. There wasn't anything else over here. Unless there was something like behind, like, uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think, I think we want to reverse the gates. Okay. So there are random battles. Okay. Just you? actually really good. I should I should be farming those. Okay, oh I actually it's over here. Okay, so now we're, we we reverse these things. I got on. 
on that. How'd you attack so fast? You just came out. I literally just summoned it. Okay, so did it, did it even do anything? I don't think that did anything. Oh, it did. Okay, so now this is open. Okay, I think I'm nearly done actually. Don't really want to be. I don't know. You could actually zoom it in. Dragonoid. Maybe, maybe in that uh, rock cave. Maybe we could have zoomed it in a bit. They say this place is full of weird monsters that are only found here. You should try to capture throw on one of them. Very true. I do agree. Ah, so there's more to this level. Carbuncle and a maelstrom. We might just beat this on the first first go around. I think we're gonna beat this on the first go around. I kind of want to farm everything really, but I think we're okay. Actually, you know what? We didn't catch the mind flare. We did not catch the mind flare. Wow, that takes a long time to actually close. I probably could have actually ran down there in the time it took this to close. I wonder can this kill me? Oh, you can't even pass it anymore. Okay, so we just play this out. We just we need to wait it out. Can't go into the menu because time freezes. All right, uh, I'm okay with that. At least they um, put the switch inside the cell. Imagine if. Uh... Oh, I was gonna say, did it take that long to open up too? Jeez. I think that's it. I think this is the end of the level. Chance to get a couple monsters. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't want to be there. Um, this guy out. This guy out. This guy out. Yes, thank you. Mm, I need some gems. I need some gems. Thank you. I think that's gonna be okay. Probably four stars. Five, nice. Mm. Mm. Yes. We 
have a we have the nicest spread we could have possibly got. We already know about the Dragonoid. We know about the giant crab. Now we have the mind flare. Oh, we can't even use this thing. Jesus Christ. If we use it, it's gonna require some of our HP. Quite a lot of our HP. All right, we got the mind flare here with the rareness of three stars. It is water type. Uh, of course, 18 stones is ridiculous. Uh, and that is gonna require some of our HP to summon as well as all of the stones we'll have because we only have 10 at this point. Uh, it is a summon type of course only has one use and it does restore cards uh, as a special let's see how many cards it restores using a rare type of magic this creature will return five to ten of the cards already used by the summer that's really really good any discarded cards will also be restored really good too cannot be used under the two player uh, fair play rule so anytime they say cannot be used under the two player fair play rule um what they mean to say is um basically you can use them but they're considered banned but you can still use these in two-player play it's just like if you turn on fair play rule which is like a slider or a option i think it's a yes no option then um you won't be able to use these if you turn on fair play but if you just play regular without fair play on you you can use whatever cards you want but i guess if there was going to be a meta game the meta game wouldn't allow cards like this uh, little is known about these sorcerers of the monster world. Their strange magical powers allow them to attack a person's mind directly, causing paralysis and slow movement. Um, and actually, these guys, you can think of these guys as uh, creatures already from Souls games, from Demon Souls specifically. So even, even in this game, you can see like a, a lot of similarities when it comes to like creature ideas and creature designs to the Souls game, honestly. Uh, you can tell FromSoft's really been um, creating this stuff for a while, like getting getting their um, compendium of monsters together, or rather their bestiary. Uh, and so we did fight Mind Flare earlier. We know that he has a lot of HP, and uh, he does have the Stun Blast, which does five, but it hits multiple times. So it 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 was kicking our ass earlier. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be Mind Flare. Uh, we're not gonna be using him because he requires way too much. All right, and that's gonna open up a path to the Castle Grail. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. I uh, got a few things in the background I gotta go deal with. Uh, but next time, we will be continuing and um, we'll set up a strategy for next time, including we'll go to the Fairy House and pick up a new card and uh, check out some, see if we got any monster transformation or anything like that. What's interesting is that I, every time I think I'm gonna stay at a stage and grind on it, uh, it ends up uh, not being the case uh, like I decided to just go ahead and beat that one but uh, I think I, th I do want to start grinding for cards and things like that though just to make our lives a bit easier uh, but um, I'm gonna have to wait to do that on camera because I don't have any opportunities to do that off camera because all these stages are no longer accessible so I appreciate you guys for checking out the channel today I uh, hope you guys are enjoying month of FromSoft from March 2019 hope you guys are also enjoying uh, uh, Lost Kingdoms as well as Ninja Blade. But for now, I'm signing off. Uh, this is Bellart Wright, Occult Gaming. Uh, Till next time, guys. Peace.